Namaskaram. Food is a basic necessity of life. Your tummy reminds you of this when you need it. Those sometimes embarrassing rumbling sounds tell you that you need to eat. So what do you eat every day? Your daily diet should include vegetables, fruits, legumes, pulses, grains and some amount of fats and nuts as well as seeds. All of which you eat raw or cooked. But is the food that you eat always good for you? Does it provide you all the nourishment that you need? Well, in most cases, the answer is yes. Why I say most cases is because a lot of the food we get in the market today is contaminated. Adulteration reduces the nutritional value of food. This would mean it doesn't give you as much nutrition as it should. Consuming adulterated food consistently increases toxicity in the body. Some adulterated foods can affect your internal organs, the heart, the kidney, the liver, to the extent of causing organ disorders and consequent organ failures. The obvious question is how to make sure that the food we buy is non-adulterated? So here are some ways to check for adulterants in some foods we consume every day. Checking for adulteration in milk. To check if milk is adulterated with detergent, put some milk in a bottle with a little bit of water and shake it well. If it settles into a frothy layer, it is pure. If not, no that it is adulterated. The second way to check it is by boiling the milk. If you get a thick and creamy yellow fat layer on the top, then it is good milk. The third way to check is to mix the milk with some water and allow it to sit for a few minutes. If you find a substance settled at the bottom, well, that's probably the chalk dust the milk is adulterated with. Checking for adulteration in sugar and jaggery. Dissolve sugar in a glass of water completely. If you find any substances at the bottom of the the glass, it's probably chalk dust and the sugar is adulterated. Bright jaggeries look tasty and infinitely better, but know that they are this way because they are mixed with a bleaching agent, salt and sometimes detergent. Identifying pure jaggery is easy, simply because pure jaggery is actually black Checking for adulteration in honey. Honey is a staple for many of us following an Ayurvedic system of life. We use it to sweeten our drinks and food and also as a medicine. Here are some ways to check the purity of honey. Mix a teaspoon of honey in vinegar. If it gets frothy, then it's not pure. The second way to test for pure honey is to add two to three drops of honey to water. If it dissolves, it's not pure. Pure honey doesn't dissolve. The third way is to heat it. If it gets thicker, it's pure. But if it starts to boil, it means that it has a sugar syrup in it. Pure honey is cloudy and opaque. It is also sticky and tastes a bit bitter, as opposed to sweet. Pure honey should have the natural aroma and flavor of flowers. Remember that pure honey does not ferment or get spoiled and never crystallizes even when refrigerated. And of course, flavored honeys are obviously Obviously adulterated. Checking for adulteration in saffron. Saffron or kesar as we know it is the world's most expensive spice. It is used extensively to flavor food and also in many bath and beauty products. It is known to be adulterated with dry tendrils of corn cobs that are dyed. So how can you test its purity? Dissolve two to three strands of kesar in water or milk. If you get an orange or bright red color quickly then it's fake. Pure saffron leaves a golden yellow tinge slowly, taking up to 15 to 20 minutes to do so. Soak two to three strands of kesar in water for a few minutes. If it breaks when you rub it between your fingers, it's not really saffron. Pure saffron smells sweet but tastes astringent or slightly bitter. Checking for adulteration in vegetables and fruits. The best way to check if vegetables are polished with color, soak them in water for some time. If the water turns yellow, green or whatever color the vegetable is means that it is adulterated. Rub a cotton swab over vegetables like carrots, sweet potatoes and capsicum. If the swab becomes colored, be sure they are adulterated. Avoid buying fruits and vegetables that are very shiny. For example, strawberries that look bright and juicy are usually dyed. The natural color of strawberries is light orange. Checking for adulteration in turmeric. Mix turmeric with water or lime to see how pure it is. 
start with water. Pure turmeric will settle at the bottom, leaving a light yellow color. If the powder dissolves in the water, it means it is mixed with colored powder. Test it with lime. Pure turmeric turns lime red. Now that we know how to identify adulterated products, how can we make sure that what we buy is pure and unadulterated? Many companies claim to be the best, but they are often expensive. Nevertheless, some of the good brands for groceries are Organic India, 24 Mantra, Tatva and Patanjali. If you have access to farm fresh milk, do buy from there. Never buy powdered milk. Go for jaggery or brown sugar instead of white sugar and sugar crystals instead of powdered sugar. If you've already bought some adulterated sugar or jaggery, make it into a syrup. This process will filter out the impurities. You can purchase Kapiba Organics Pure Honey and Saffron and even Isha Honey. Again, if you've bought impure honey, you can mix it with olive oil or coconut oil to make your face packs, lip balms and other cosmetic products. Namo Organic and Patanjali are also some other brands that can be trusted. We hope you found this video helpful. If you haven't already, please do like, share and subscribe and let us know which tip has worked for you the best for now. To get online personalized diet charts from us, you can contact plus 91-887-65-683-10 or WhatsApp plus 91-939-56-38982.